Hey guys, I'm LB, and if you'll remember, in the Front Page Friday livestream, we played this map, Aperture Experiment. And I let the, the author know what I felt about the map, and they said, Thank you for your comment, I most likely will make an update for this, or make the second part of this, and I will consider your comment. And then they cr actually created it, they actually did it, they created part two of it, and uh, it, they took what I said, and they considered it in their new map, so we're gonna check it out. It is called... Aperture Experiment 2. They actually spelled it correctly in the first map, but they spelled experiment wrong the second time here. But they, they called it card instead of map, so... I don't know, maybe they're not a native English speaker. I don't know. Let's see. Experiment Part 2. Good luck. I can already see a crusher, and I think there's a long hallway here that we're gonna have to run down at some point, so we'll, we'll see how that is. And already... Yeah, I can hear the crusher already. So, let's- let's go see if they actually In case things. you were wondering, you hmm. do not need to be crushed to solve this test. So already, I can see something that's still a problem here. This is still useless. This little part where the energy pellet is directly across here. That's- that is still not done well enough. This is also kind of pointless right here. I also like that the timer is a bit longer, but still, I'm not really sure what the point of this little area is for. What is this faceplate for? Huh, I guess that's... for that. That is activated by... Wait, what? Oh, I see, it must reverse it. Yeah, yeah, okay, because once you get in there, you would be stuck, so it has to reverse it. Good thinking. So are the turrets still here, though? Ah, they replaced the turrets with deadly goo! Good on you! I wonder what disables this. Is there any signage on this? I don't see any signage on this- this laser wall here. I don't- I don't know how we get in there. Alright, so first of all... Let's go ahead and do the pointless button. This button is absolutely pointless, because all it does is that. <laughs> Wait, does that even go to anything? I don't see any signage on it. Did that change anything? I guess they might have forgotten to remove that. Yeah, that button could be removed, that could be removed, and that could be removed. What is that about? Let's, let's try pressing that. I bet that starts the funnel, right? Yeah, that starts the funnel. There we go. And then, yeah, we once we go over here, we press this, and it'll reverse us out so we don't get trapped. And what's the point of that? Why did I want to do that? I don't understand. <laughs> is that doing something else? Oh, it's doing this! Okay, what you need to do is set the signage on this to, uh, at least... At least have it signage or antline or something. Don't just make it no signage. Let's see, is that really... How much time do I have? Wait, what turn... Maybe that did that. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Those of you in the comments will tell me what did- what turned this off. Might have actually been that, I don't know. Interesting, how do we get over- Wait, is that- is that also this? I mean, this? Also... We can also kinda bypass this right here, but whatever. Let's go see. I think that does. Yes, it is. Alright. Oops, come on. Fire portal. Come on, let me press the button, Valve. There we go. And then that button did this thing in here. Oh, how did I pick that up a weird way? There we go. And then we do that. And now there's just a crusher at the entrance. Why? What for? Oh no, there's actually a laser puzzle in here. Really? I mean, we could do that. This crusher is annoying. What's the point of the crusher other than to be annoying? And look at this, this is no longer the exit, but an entirely new area that we saw in the picture. What does this do? A 
Okay, so this seems rather pointless to me, because then we can just do this. Yeah, this is- this is really just tedious, this isn't really a puzzle. Alright, well you made some improvements, and then you made some... more mistakes. <laughs> but at least you're responding to criticism, and that's half the battle. Being able to respond to criticism correctly is amazing, that's great. Because some people don't respond well to criticism. And it's good that you were able to respond to criticism. I thank you for that. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. You can share your appreciation with the two buttons below the video that look like these right here. And I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!